we are about to meet an old friend. We're gonna see a huge open space. Check out some churches. And hopefully try some local traditional food. It's gonna be a good day. It's our last full day here in Tirana, so we're gonna try to make the most of it. This is what we do whenever we get to a new city. We walk around a lot. And we check out all the big attractions, all the big sites in the city. And for some reason we left out the biggest site of Tirana until today, the last day we're here. And that's the huge square that we got right behind us. The Skanderbeg Square. It's a square where local people hang out, mostly during the night when it's cooler. Skanderbeg. We met him in Pristina. He's a war hero for Albania. bad that there's so much construction going on. So all the sites have backdrops of construction areas. We just wandered off from the Skanderbeg Square and we find ourselves in a neighborhood that feels more local. And it's just quite nice to wander around, explore the city from another perspective. Every time I'm in a place like this, I think about that they need to sell things to stay alive. So apparently all these thousands of vendors sell enough stuff to keep them alive. It's amazing. Who buys this stuff? One thing I noticed is that usually at this kind of marketplaces, salesmen are trying to get your attention. Buy this, look at this, blah, blah. Here it's more... It's one nice. First of all, they are on their phones. You want their attention. They are very nice. And that is nice. This market is surprisingly big. It doesn't look that big from the outside, but once you get in, it's huge. From one market to another. And some other souvenirs. Carpets. And of course, olive oil. Either we are too early or we are too late because it's kind of half empty here. We're about to visit yet another museum. We're not that big on museums normally, but we were to the Bank Art 2 Museum and it was such an interesting museum. And there's another museum called the House of Leaves that's explaining the history of the Secret Service here in Albania. So what do you think? I think it's just uh, awful. It's very interesting, but it's terrifying that it's been going on for such a long time. Uh, 
you aren't allowed to film inside the house so basically there were a lot of rooms with a lot of documents telling the story of the secret police or the secret service here in Albania. If I had to choose between one of the two museums that we've been to, the House of Leaves and the Bankar 2, I would definitely go for Bankar 2. It tells pretty much the same story but you get a bigger depth into how the regime really affected people in the real life in Bankar 2. Not so impressed with this one. Selma Lagerlöf, a Swedish author, wrote about Nils Holgersson. He flew on his goose from the south of Sweden to the north of Sweden. And it's actually a symbol of the south of Sweden where we come from. So, hello Sweden. Hello Nils Holgersson. It's been a great day. We've been out and about walking through the whole city and now we're starting to get a little hungry. We are heading to a restaurant called Uda. Uda? Uda. Uda. And it's a restaurant serving traditional Albanian food. So I'm actually really excited about this because I have no clue what to expect. So I read about this uh, restaurant order where they serve traditional Albanian food and they have a lot of vegetarian options. We just ordered pepper, stuffed with rice and some lime beans. They have a very small kitchen but there are about three or four people in it and they are cooking and cooking and cooking and I think it will taste just like at home at the local cuisine. They have a fire pit outside where they do some slow cooking. I have high expectation and it really looks good. It's really yummy. And I use the word yummy because it's very soft. But still there's more spice in the Albanian food than there have been in Pristina and Skopje. Mm, it tastes really good. It tastes like homemade. It's really tender. You can just touch it and it will cut through. Tastes like beans. <laughs> but also, it's not salt, it's not pepper. But it is. The flavors are really good. were met. It was delicious food, great stuff. I really recommend this place if you are in Toronto. Oda. 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 We're back at the Skanderbeg Square where we started the day. And it's a whole different square now. With all the local signs, meeting up, hanging out, having a good night. We are back at our Airbnb and all that's left for us to do here in Tirana is to pack our bags. The most boring part of traveling. So we're going to spare you from that and we will be back tomorrow.